What's up, my fellow travelers? Thanks for tuning in to the Time Travelers, Episode 2, Atlanta. So last time on the Time Travelers, we were in New Smyrna Beach. If you didn't get a chance to see that, go check that out. Some beautiful footage, a lot about the beach. Maybe you might see some sharks, maybe not, not guaranteeing anything. But before we get started today, make sure you like this video, smash that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you have access to all our latest content. So without further ado, it is time to take a trip with us to Atlanta. So as we get to Atlanta, we're a little bit hungry. And um, if you don't know, if you're in Georgia and have never experienced Waffle House, Waffle House is definitely a must. So if you've ever been to Waffle House, for all the viewers down in the comments, do you like Waffle House, love Waffle House, or do not like Waffle House? Let me know down in the comments how you feel about Waffle House. Well, after that delicious breakfast, we are headed to downtown Atlanta. And the first thing we see here in downtown Atlanta is the Georgia State Capitol building. For those that don't know, Atlanta is the capital of Georgia, and this is the Capitol building. So moving right along, we just riding through Atlanta. Um, this right here is the Marta Station. A lot of beautiful murals all over the place in Atlanta. So just keep your eyes out and be mindful. Another Waffle House. And if you notice right here, we passing through Georgia State University. Georgia State University, founded in 1913. The Panthers is their mascot, and it is in the heart of downtown Atlanta. These are just some of the classrooms and buildings in Georgia State. Walters. On our left is underground. All right, so we just pass up some of the boring stuff, and then we pull up right here. So as we were pulling up to this light, we were just wondering who this guy was. Uh, so we decided to do some research. So we got a little history lesson right here about this gentleman. This right here is Henry W. Grady. He is one of the well-known people of Atlanta. But let's just talk about this guy for a second. He was a major in the Confederate Army in the Civil War. So he fought on the side of you know, the Confederates. So basically, you know what that means. Um, a lot of things in Atlanta are named after this guy. Um, Grady Memorial Hospital. Uh, there's also a Grady County in Georgia that's also named after this dude. And a Grady High. Recently, um, you know, and shout out to um, Midtown High for changing the name of the uh, the school because this dude was a known racist Um pretty much uh, endorse white supremacy, and they still have a statue of this guy. So I'm not sure why uh, Atlanta's still celebrating this dude, but they need to get rid of this statue, in my opinion. But if you have a difference of opinion, please put that in the comments down below. You know, respectfully, uh, we all have opinions, but at the end of the day, this dude was not a great dude. All right, so moving right along. So we can't have the bad without the good. So as we transition, we're going to talk about this guy right here. His name is Andrew Young. Uh, he was a civil rights leader and the 55th mayor of Atlanta. Also about Andrew Young, he won the seat in Georgia Congress in 1972. And he was the ambassador to the United Nations in 1977, the first African-American to do so. He also did run for governor of Georgia in 1990, but he was unsuccessful. But let's give a shout out to Andrew Young, man, for just being a dope human being and a good representative of Atlanta. Yeah, we need more. We need more statues like this, Atlanta. Good job. So we spent a little time down here with Andrew Young. Uh, my son wanted to dap up Andrew Young, dapped up the homie. Um, this right here is a little monument to the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Just a good informational place. You guys can come down here, do your research on it. 
Um, it's, it's, it's definitely worth coming down here to see this kind of stuff. However, uh, moving along, we are about to go to the Skyview Atlanta. Look up Atlanta. We're heading across. We got the green, y'all. Let's keep it moving. Woo! Kind of large. Kind of large. Alright. We gotta get over this way. Alright. Nothing coming. Woohoo! Skyview Atlanta. Yeah, it smells like a lot of things. Lucky are inside good. the phone. CNN. CNN, y'all. Mm. That's where they make the news. And I do mean make the news. Say hi, babe. Top top of the land. Now we're at the top. Top top of the land. Did they just stop the road? Yeah, they're letting people on. So Centennial Park. This is oh, a view of Atlanta. Like that. And uh, oh yeah, see it in building. So quick facts about the Skyview Atlanta. The Skyview Atlanta was open in 2013. And right now it's considered the largest portable Ferris wheel in the United States at about 200 feet or 20 stories. Now, tourist information for this ride and attraction, the lines are not usually longer than 20 minutes. The prices are pretty reasonable. It's $12 for adults, $10 for children, and I forget the age, I think it's um, five and under get on free. Um, you're not going to have to pay for parking because you're in downtown Atlanta and you are not. You, you should have already paid for parking if you're down there. They will have stroller parking. There are no strollers allowed in the cabs of these things. And uh, they also have a VIP booth, which is a little bit more pricey. Um, but I guess it's worth it because they have leather seats. I don't really think so. No, I don't think so. Um, also, you get about three rotations on this ride. So, you know, it's about 15 minutes long. So the Skyview is open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We got there really early, so we didn't have to wait in line. Um, and as far as a rating on this ride, I'm going to say we're going to give the ride, I would say, a 6 out of 10. We spent about $40 on pictures right here at this booth. Um, you can get digital copies of your pictures. We got physical copies and digital copies, so we paid the extra dollars. Always worth it for the memories, folks. quick little wrap up we did want to go to the Georgia Aquarium um, during this time we were not able to go because of the fact that the Georgia Aquarium has scheduled slot time so if you're deciding to go to the Georgia Aquarium the best bet is to probably visit their website and see the times that they have open for the day and actually buy your tickets before you get there and know what time you want to get there and then try to find somewhere close to park other than that you know, it was a beautiful time. And as always, we want to thank you guys for traveling with us. Meet us next time where we are going to visit a timeshare in Kissimmee, Florida called Vacation Village. That is going to be a good adventure. So we'll have that up for you guys next. Thanks for traveling with us, the time travelers, and we will see you guys next time.